Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Bianca. So I told you guys on my Insta, Snap, Twitter, Facebook that I was going to be doing a Q&A video for my uh, rhinoplasty. So we're going to start off basically by... Every time I film, I like lose my breath. I'm like... <laughs> we're going to start off basically with the questions again that were most asked. So Selma, Nancy, there was a couple people that asked how much it was. The cost in total of the procedure, just the procedure was 3,700, so 3,700. Honestly though, just because again, you do have to buy like the medication, you have to buy, um, I mean you don't have to buy anything afterwards like for your recovery process, but I'm pretty sure you would want to. All in all, with the stuff that I had, bought like for my recovery um it was probably i want to say maybe like four thousand four thousand one hundred sorry the viewfind is up here camera's right there um i can also make a video if you guys want um, of everything that i had to buy for the recovery um i bought a lot of stuff actually and i used all of it so yeah if you guys want a video i can go into detail about that um, Nancy also asked who was your doctor I will insert his name here um, like I said in my last video um, he was super super nice when it came to the consultation when it came to um, the surgery I only seen him literally for maybe like 30 minutes he was busy all day but he came to check in on me um, to make sure I was okay to go through with it um, and everybody at that clinic too was super super nice Beatrice asked What's your next surgery going to be? Beach. Um, I've been jokingly saying that I want to get a BBL, but it's not a joke. It's no joke. I just because I have like super noticeable hip dips. Like I see see girls with like super nice hips. I'm like, I want that. I, I want my next surgery to be a BBL. And honestly, the surgeon that I went to, girl, it's cheap. Like I probably need to pop out a couple kids but a BBL for sure. I want to be my next surgery. Um, Adele asked, how does it feel to blow your nose? Great. Godly, next to godly. Rocio asked, what was the hardest part? Um, so I have a couple, maybe there's like three hard things. Um, so one of the kind of difficult things was the whole sleeping, um, just because you do have to be elevated. Um, and I'm a side sleeper, so it was super hard and it was super uncomfortable just because I'm a side sleeper and I can't get I can't get it right when I'm like just elevated. So it was kind of difficult in that sense, uh, but I had a recliner which really helped. That was one thing. Another thing was the no, no the mouth breathing because I'm so used to breathing through my nose. Um, at night it would be kind of the hardest because it'd be um, kind of hard breathing through your mouth and then having to wake up with like a dry mouth. The only real, real hard thing that I think about this entire procedure was when they took out the um, plugs that were in my nose and then when they removed the stitches. Again, I think it's because she didn't apply enough like anesthetic so I can kind of feel uh, the stitches coming out. And then when it came to the plugs, I didn't necessarily get to see the plugs, but she mentioned they were kind of like an oval shape. I can't. Oh, they were like an oval shape and because the oval shape wasn't like um, Like flat I guess it was at an angle. So when they're pulling it out like I could feel like the curvature of the oval Like plug I guess If that makes sense and that like it hurt But it was super quick. So when she was taking it out like it, it was very uncomfortable and it did kind of hurt um, that's again if you guys want to get your nose done I would say go for it. Like, it's such an easy procedure. You can do it! You can do it! Valerie asked, were you nervous? And oddly enough, I wasn't nervous at all. Like I was so excited for the procedure. Like I was so ready, I was so excited. Um, I wasn't thinking about any of the pain at all. I wasn't thinking about the surgery like me, like going under or whatever. I was just so excited to have a new nose, like have the nose that I've always wanted and i don't regret it at all phil x up 
asked, did you have to stay overnight after your surgery or could you go home? I'm going to the same place you went in November to get my rhinoplasty and I was just wondering. I did have to stay overnight. They do keep you overnight, um, but I did have to- Oh my God, my necklace. Yes, I did have to stay overnight. Because of COVID, they only have you stay overnight just because of, again, they don't want extra people in the room. Um, so I had to book my mom a hotel because she did come with me that day. Um, and she just came to get me uh, when they released me the day after. So Anna asked, did they do an implant and how long for the swelling to go down? It looks snatched. Thanks, girl. So I know a lot of people that when they are getting a rhinoplasty done, um, they also get a chin implant. Um, just because a lot of surgeons recommend to have more of like a symmetrical face, they recommend doing like a chin implant, um, which I did not. Um, my profile... I don't think I need a chin implant. Uh, now that I think about it, I don't know. But again, he those are procedures that you can get done at the same time while you're getting your rhinoplasty. Swelling, that was the main thing. So swelling, honestly, it probably went down after about two weeks. The bruising went away probably about a week. Probably like, again, like the, I guess everything went down after 12 to 14 days. Um, because I didn't bruise so much as you guys saw, which was so strange. Again, I don't know. I didn't bruise a lot, but I did have really bad swelling. Like, I'm not, well, for those of you that have gotten like your wisdom teeth removed, you like swell like that. Like I had, I felt like I had like balls in my like mouth. <laughs> it was just all right here and you can like feel it. It was so odd. It was such a strange feeling. Bianca asked, um, did how, what is it? I wanna know if you stayed away from makeup while you were bruised around your eyes slash nose. And if you didn't, did it hurt to cover up the bruises with makeup? So because you, I mean, are recovering and you have a thing, like you have the cast over your nose, um, it's kind of difficult anyways to put makeup on. I took 12 days off of work, so I didn't have the need to put makeup on. Um, for those 12 days and again, they recommend you to not just because again, you have open They're not open incisions, but you have the you know where your um, Stitches were so they don't want any bacteria getting into those incisions But yes for the makeup it, and it still feels very strange when I do when I when I tap my beauty blender on my face on my nose Just because it get it is very um, It's tender I guess still and it still feels pretty numb. So Tapping it feels very strange. It doesn't hurt, I mean, it doesn't hurt necessarily, but it just feels weird. It's like a buzzy feeling. Marilyn asked, would you do anything different the first time? So I'm guessing like, would you want it done differently? But no, not really, if that, if that was the question, like would I do anything differently? I love how it looks. It, I don't know, it's just, what I initially wanted again was to have the, it's called a dorsal hump. Oh no, it was on this side. Um, so the dorsal hump was protruding on this side more than it was this side um, And I told him like he came in before the surgery my doctor He was like so what is it that you want done just kind of like giving him as a refresher I just want the bump removed like that's all I want. He basically also ended up um, kind of projecting the tip a little bit and then um, Making my nostrils a little smaller, which I'm in love with everything Sam asked how do you feel? How do you feel about it and why do you look different now? Or like, or I don't know if you meant, wow, you look different now. I, like I was saying, I am in love with it. Uh, my nose was always such a huge insecurity about myself. It, ever since I was 10, I want to say, nine? No, maybe like 10. I always noticed that it was bigger than other people's. And I just never liked like turning my face um, it was just always um, again an issue for me and now that it's fixed I feel so much better about myself I feel so much more confident and I I love it like I so glad I did this uh, Tiffany Villalobos asked I noticed you had a nose piercing at the beginning of the video but not at the end did it close because of the healing process so my my nose piercing I've had for um, like eight to ten years so it didn't necessarily close up but again you do have to remove all your piercings prior to the surgery. Um, I I believe I barely tried to put it back in. I think it was like two and a half weeks after um, my initial procedure. So about like 16 to 18 days, I tried to put it back in 
and it went in just fine um it, it was a little sore just because again the cartilage uh, around your nose is it's healing i guess if you're a person that like your piercings close pretty quickly then i would say um you might have to get it re-pierced m tripathy uh asked can i go to my job after two days of rhino I do call center. I do a call center job from home, so I work from home. Honestly, that whole like week of like you recovering, I didn't want to do anything. Um, so two days after you have your rhinoplasty, I think it's kind of pushing it just because again you can't even like talk really because you have the drip pad on. Um, it, it hurts to breathe through your nose if they do end up putting plugs. So I mean, two days. I'm not sure. Um, but if you work from home, that's a plus just because you have the ability to go to work. Um, but two days, yeah, like I said, kind of pushing it. Um, I went to work like two weeks after uh, I got my procedure. Mao Lee asked, how long did you have to stay in Mexico after the surgery? I, again, only stayed overnight um, because I live relatively close to the border. Um, I only had to stay overnight. Um, they have a lot of people stay in recovery homes if you live far. Um, because again, you do have to come back after the week so they can remove the cast. Payal or Payal asked, Hey, how did you have little to no bruising and swelling? Did you just drink a lot of pineapple juice or use Arnica gel? I've noticed most people have tons of bruising. My surgery's in two days and I could use all the advice. <gasps> this was two weeks ago that she commented that or he commented to that. Um, I hope your surgery went well. I hope you're recovering well. But yes, so for the surgery or for the bruising and swelling, I believe it was maybe like two days prior that I started um, taking the Arnica tablets and then the bromelain pills. Um, they advise you to do all of that like a week prior just so your body gets used to all the like the nutrients that it's getting from those pills or the whatever it is that it's giving you. But yeah, they, they, they advise you to, to start taking them um, a week prior. I started two days prior. One thing that did help, I think, was I slept a lot. I didn't ice, like I said in my other video, I didn't ice my face as much as I should have because my skin is sensitive and it was just really cold on my face. That's one thing that really, really helps um, swelling though. Um, bruising, it's just a matter of, I mean, how bad you bruise because again, my swelling, my bruising did go away after about the two weeks. One thing that I really, I feel in my head that really helped was the Arnica. Um, the Arnica gel, um, I didn't necessarily grab just because it was a topical thing. I don't know, I didn't get the Arnica gel, but that's one thing they do advise you to get as well if you feel like that would help you. So Rosalie asked, um, do you have scars around your nose or is there any scarring? I do notice little scars just because I the procedure that he did, I believe it was a closed rhinoplasty. Um, so they open you, ugh. I had a closed rhinoplasty. So the closed rhinoplasty, basically they, um, they put incisions right here around the nostrils um, and then they just pull up the tissue. I have little scars, but they're honestly not noticeable at all. It kind of just looks like discoloration around my nose. Um, and since I do wear makeup, like it's not that big of a deal. On days that I don't, again, it just looks kind of like irritation, I guess. Melina asked, did you consider rhinoplasty with fillers? So the only thing with that is, so basically when they do a non-surgical rhinoplasty is when they just inject your nose with fillers and it kind of evens it out. So that is more of a, I mean, depends on where you go, but I'm, I'm guessing it's more of a cheaper option to do the fillers. But in my case, just because if you do fillers, you have to get it done, well, redone every, I wanna say like three years. And I just didn't see the point in it just because like why be spending money on something you have to keep doing, I guess. And I just saw the surgical rhinoplasty as a better option. It, honestly, it comes out almost to the same result, I guess. I've seen, it, but again, it, de it depends on how major of a result that you want. Um, but I have seen that a lot of people get really beautiful noses with, the, with just the fillers. All right, guys. Well, I guess that was uh, the 
whole video. Like I said, if you have any other questions or if you want to see my uh, all, I guess, of what all I got for the recovery process, you guys can let me know. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you guys that watch my videos, that like the videos, that comment. It, it really is, uh, I really appreciate it. Like, you guys don't understand. <laughs> Like starting this out, it's 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 very difficult because you don't have a following, but I'm slowly getting there. So I really hope you guys like the video. Um, again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on my next video. Thank you so much.